where did the Bible come from? Some Christians think that maybe the Bible fell from the sky. And uh, this big Bible would fall from the sky. It would certainly hurt somebody if it fell upon them. This is a 25-pound Bible that we'll be using for our Bible marathon beginning on Ash Wednesday at 1230 in the square of the town of St. Martinville. The Bible, Sacra Scriptoris, or Biblia, the word in Greek, Biblia, means books. And it's precisely that. What it is, is an assembly or a codification, a collection of many books. In the Old Testament, the Catholic Bible has 46 books. A Protestant Bible, which uh, follows a smaller canon, has 39 books in the Old Testament. So we have 46 books, and the books were like scrolls. The Bible has a long history. It's divinely revealed by God. It's what uh, we call written tradition. In the, in the uh, revelation of God, God speaks. And, uh, and then uh, the uh, apostles, for example, uh, spoke about Jesus' teaching. And then uh, some of the apostles and other evangelists uh, write it, wrote them down. And we have letters of St. Paul that were written. Uh, Paul was just taking care of ad hoc problems, maybe in the church at Corinth, and writing letters to them uh, to save some time with the distance uh, between him and the church at Corinth. And, but God, the Holy Spirit, caused Paul to write only what God wanted written, nothing more, nothing less. And we call that divine inspiration. And over a period of time, the Bible was written over many, many years, maybe some sections, 1200 B.C., 1300 B.C., and uh, sections in the, New, in the Old Testament, maybe about 200 B.C. So from the oldest to the, to the uh, newest of the Old Testament, maybe a thousand or better years. Uh, in the New Testament, we have uh, uh, probably uh, the earliest around the year 48, 49, with Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, one of the earliest pieces of the New Testament. And then you have uh, the book of Revelation of St. John, uh, and his gospel may be written uh, in the 90s. And so by the end of the first century, uh, the Bible as we know it is complete. But it took some years for that canon, if you will, uh, to be settled upon. So in the early days, we know, for example, in Luke's Gospel, Jesus sat in the uh, synagogue in uh, Nazareth where he was reared, and uh, they handed him a scroll, and he found the place where it was written in Isaiah, and he read it, and then he gave the scroll back to the attendant, he put it back in the box. So you had scrolls. This was a book maybe of Isaiah, a book of, uh, of Ezra and Nehemiah, a book uh, of the Psalms, and so they had scrolls. Over a period of time, they were codified, put together, and start to be bound. And so some of the earliest Bibles we have would date from the fourth century. The Codex Vaticanus, the code that is kept in the Vatican, probably the earliest Bible we have, dating to about 325. We have another one about 350. This is the one that was found in Mount Sinai, and it's in the uh, British Academy, probably to the year 350. And another one maybe uh, in the uh, fifth century, in the early 400s, the Codex Alexandrinus, so it was the Alexandrian Bible. And these basically have the New Testament as we know it, the 27 books. Sometimes they have a different order, and they have a few letters that are maybe more than we have in our present Bible. But certainly by the middle of the fourth century or uh, early fifth century, we see a clarity, lists of the New Testament that agree completely with our present Bible. This, of course, didn't get uh, dogmatically defined until the Council of Trent uh, in, uh, uh, in the 1500s, around 1546 or so, with the decree uh, on the inspiration of the Bible. And so the Bible was formed over a period of years by many different authors, many different hands, but the Holy Spirit is the single divine author in the scripture. And so God is the word. The word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And all of the scripture, old and new, bespeak of God's son coming among us, the Christ. So this is the importance of the Bible, reading the Bible. It's our written tradition. Uh, God speaks when the scriptures are writ uh, read. And by reading the Bible and uh, listening to the word, we are getting light for our path that is able to teach us, to uh, discipline us, to help us uh, to be inspired and to live according to God's will. We certainly have oral tradition, which predated the written tradition of the Bible, and that continues. But the Bible holds a very special place, not only uh, in the Catholic Church, but among all Christians. So come and marinate in the Word as the Bible will be read cover to cover in the square from Ash Wednesday until Sunday. 100 hours, night and day, of marinating, stewing in the Word of God.